In this video, we'll learn how to make a fancy butterfly that is joined with an awareness ribbon. We'll begin by opening our JPEG of our butterfly, and I'll just simply drag and drop it into Inkscape and choose Embed. You could also open this by doing the File Open operation. Since this is a JPEG, we'll need to trace it first. With the image selected, we'll go to Path, Trace Bitmap, We'll set our colors and our scans to 2, and stack scans remove, and remove background are checked, and we'll click the Update button. Now we'll click OK, and you'll see that that happens very quickly. And now our top image that we can drag off is our vector file that we want to keep, and we can get rid of our original image. Now if you'll notice, this is not a symmetrical butterfly, and I happen to want my image to be a symmetrical butterfly. So what I'll do first is select the image and I'll go to our node editor and I'm going to simply highlight and get rid of about half of the butterfly by hitting the delete key. Next I'll zoom in a little so I can get more precise with my edits and I'll continue to delete, to delete different portions that aren't needed. And now, since certain parts of our image are going to be are very small, I'm going to go ahead and edit and delete those as well, just simply because they'll be difficult to weed and to work with once you cut the material. And you want this image to be as simple as possible once you've cut the material. So I'll get rid of all these small holes. And we'll leave that one because that one's kind of large. You can zoom in and out in Inkscape by using your plus and minus buttons. And now that we have half of our butterfly, we're going to hit the control D as in duplicate. And we have two images, one's right over top of the other one. Now I'll click this button, which is flip horizontally. And then I'll use my arrow key to move this to the side. Next, I've inserted my awareness ribbon that I want to incorporate into my design. And when I place it over the butterfly, instead of it touching all the way around, I want a slight border and a space between the butterfly and the ribbon so you can see it easily. So with the ribbon selected, I'll create a path, length offset. I'll choose a color that I'm not working with so it's easy to see. And then I'll grab this node and drag it out just a little. And then I'll go to Path, Object to Path. We'll use our selector tool to move the ribbon, the length offset of the ribbon into place. And we'll place it carefully, making sure that it's centered and we have equal distance on each side between some of the smaller objects, it's easier to tell. Next, I'll highlight the Length Offset and the Butterfly. I'll use Path, Difference, to do the cutout. And now I'll move my ribbon into place. And with the ribbon in place, I'll now highlight the entire project. And go to Object Group. And we'll save this as a plain SVG file. Next, we'll go into Design Space. And we'll choose Upload Images, Upload Vector, We'll choose the SVG we just created, save it, and we'll insert it into our project. And if we right click and ungroup, you'll see that we can separate the ribbon and we can cut it into a different color material or different type of material separately from the butterfly. Hopefully my video has been helpful to you. If it has been, please subscribe to my channel and by all means, please share my videos.